Hi folks, Peter Lawn here. Welcome to my basic modding video series for the game Icarus. Today we're going to assume you are new to Icarus and wow, you just discovered that people are currently modding Icarus and you want to jump into it as well. This video will focus on how to extract the JSON files from the Icarus data files using an unpacker repacking utility, make some changes to specific files, and then repack those files into a mod file that will be incorporated back into the game's mod folder. When the game starts, if it sees files in this folder, it will use them instead of the native game files. Modding in this way will not alter your original installation or game files, and the modding files can be quickly and easily removed with no ad adverse effects on the game. Now, I would highly recommend you play the game through in vanilla before you're jumping into the modding. This is simply because there's nothing like experiencing the terror of spending your first night in complete darkness, burning down your first wood building because you dropped your torch, or getting chased and killed by a bear. It's a true survival game, and knowing how to play the game and understanding the gameplay mechanics makes uh, tweaking it 100% more enjoyable. The current largest and most comprehensive modding information for the game is on the Discord channel called Linkerus Icarus Modding and it's available at the link shown here. So let's head there now and our first stop is going to be at the FAC Player channel. Be sure to read this uh, information regarding the do's and don'ts with respect to the developer Rocketworks and their official uh, Icarus Discord and Steam channels. The first piece of software you will need is called the Unreal Pack Tool. This tool allows us to unpack and repack the game asset files. It's available for download by navigating to the Useful Tools Links channel here at the top of the page. Just click on this link to download the zip file and it's called drgpacker 4-27.zip. Uh, you may see other Unreal Pack versions on the web, but this package is specifically designed to work for the Icarus game. Now I'm going to show you how to use this tool to develop your first standalone mod without any other software. But once we've done that, we will talk further about a wonderful piece of software called the Icarus Mod Manager, or IMM for short. This software was developed by user JimK72 and not only helps you manage your mods, but also allows downloading and merging of other people's mods with yours into the game. The game usually gets updated each week, so redeployment of your mod is required with the new game files, and IMM will help facilitate managing multiple mod files updates quickly and efficiently. Okay, let's do some uh, modding setup first. Uh, we'll create a folder on my D drive called Icarus Mods. We're also going to create a new subfolder in here called My Mods. Any new mods we create for the game will have their own folder within that one. Let's move this window to the side for the moment and switch back to our browser and locate the DRG Packer fi uh, zip file that we downloaded earlier and open it up. We don't need the top level folder in there called DRG Packer 2, so we'll open that uh, folder up in the zip package and highlight all the files folders in there and drag and drop them to our Icarus Mods folder here. I'm going to create a mod that speeds up the crafting of refined wood at the carpentry bench. If you played the game, you will recall that crafting this refined wood is extremely slow, so this is a nice simple mod to demonstrate some JSON editing. I'm going to make a new mod folder in our My Mods folder called Faster Refined Wood, which will store our changed files for this particular mod. We're also going to need to create a readme text file that describes the mod and what it does. This file is needed in the root folder of your mod for the repacking process we'll do later. So for each new mod you create, make a new folder for it and a new readme text file for it in the folder. I've got one already created on my desktop which I'll drag and drop into my faster refined wood folder and open it up to have a look. You can see I have the name of the mod at the top. I've included a mod version number and the Icarus version is compatible with, as well as a brief description of what the mod does. So now let's extract all the native JSON files for the game. Navigate to the Icarus game folder, which I've already got a shortcut on my desktop. I'll zoom in on the folder path here so you can see it better. 
the Icarus game content folder is located at C backslash program files x86 steam backslash steam apps backslash common backslash Icarus backslash Icarus again and in the content folder. If your Icarus game is installed on another drive, you'll have to substitute the drive letter with your installed drive. You will be accessing this location regularly, so make that shortcut. All the JSON files are compressed in the backslash data folder in the Icarus content folder in a file here called data.pack. We'll move this window to the side and bring our Icarus mods folder into view, and we can drag and drop the data pack file onto the underscore unpack.bat file, which is a batch file that will open a command window and unpack all the JSON game files. Let's close this window when it's done, and you can now see a data folder in our Icarus mods folder that will contain all the current week's unpacked JSON files. You can see there's lots of subfolders that categorize the different types of JSON files in the game. For our faster refined wood mod, we want to change a parameter in the file that controls crafting speed. This file is located in the data folder, crafting subfolder, and is called the d underscore processor recipes.json. Now I would highly recommend you use a text editor called Notepad++ and set it up as the default program to open JSON files. It handles all the formatting and some other great features above the basic Notepad program. For each file uh, we want to change in our mod, we need to copy it over maintaining folder hierarchy. So in our mod folder, let's create a data folder, then a crafting folder, and then we'll copy over the JSON file we're going to edit. We'll open up our d underscore processor recipes.json and have a look. Now I'm not going to go into great detail on everything in this file. However, I'll briefly touch on the general format you'll find in all the JSON files. First, you'll have this row struct descriptor at the top of the file. Next, there will always be a default section after that, and then a row section after that. The default section contains records and parameters that are default settings for the JSON file. The rows section entries will contain records and parameters that override any default settings. If any records are missing in the row section, automatically the default settings will take effect in that file. Half the challenge in JSON editing is finding the right file to change and the right code name for a record you want to make changes in. I happen to know that the recipe for refined wood in this file is basically refined underscore wood, so I'll search for that in the JSON file. If you look at the record structure for crafting recipes, there are some key points to note. We have the record name up here, and just below that, the entry required millijoules. This is the parameter we need to change for faster crafting. I'll change it to a one for immediate crafting. Lower the number, the faster the craft speed. Some other records of notes are the inputs, things needed to craft uh, an item and how much, the count value. And we also have output section, the item being crafted and their associated count for each crafting cycle. Syntax is extremely important in JSON files, so make sure you mind your commas and formats. One comma left out in Icarus may not load and display an error. This is no big deal though, as you can just remove your mod and either fix the syntax or copy in a new file from our master data files and start the editing process again. Okay, we'll uh, save our file and now with the Icarus mods folder open, as well as our my mods folder, we would drag and drop our faster refined mod folder onto the underscore repack.bat file. This is a batch file which will open a command window and repack our modified JSON file. You will see a new file appear in the MyMods folder called FasterRefinedWood underscore p dot pack. This is our mod file that we will use in the game. To get the mod file back into the game content, we will open our Icarus game content folder with my shortcut on the desktop. Navigate to the packs folder. And if you don't see this mods folder here, create a new folder called mods and drag and drop your pack file into this uh, game mods folder. You can freely change the name of this pack file if you want, but you have to keep the underscore P in the file name as Icarus looks for files with this designation uh, as alternate load files during startup. 
Also, you can use multiple pack files from several mods. However, if any of those mods change the same JSON file, only the last mod file loaded will take effect. This is where the Icarus Mod Manager software I mentioned earlier comes into play. It will manage the merging of mods even if they change the same JSON files. With my mod file in place, we are ready to start the game and see our mod um, in effect on the crafting speed of refined wood. Head over to the carpenter bench. When I select the refined wood recipe and set the quantity to 10 and hit the craft button, you can see the crafting is immediate. Congratulations folks, you've created your first mod. Now you can share this pack file with other players who uh, you want to connect with in multiplayer games. For multiplayer, there is a strict rule around running mods and it's this. The server or host player and all connected clients must have exactly the same mod files running before establishing connection. If you do not follow this rule, weird things can happen or mods might break the game. I mentioned earlier, you cannot corrupt the original game installation files modding with this method I describe in this video. However, I do have a cautionary warning regarding running mods. If you've started any prospect, be it an outpost, a mission, or any open world, and you're running mods that affect building structures, or stack size, or slot size modifications, um, if you enter this prospect without mods, you run the risk of losing all or some resources, including base structures that may disappear. So the rule of thumb is back up incremental saves of your prospects so you can restore if something goes sideways. All prospects you make in the game are saved in your Icarus account folder shown here. I recommend making incremental backups of this folder anytime you create or change mods so you can restore previous versions of your base. We showed you um, the Icarus Mod Manager earlier in the video, and you can get this tool at JimK72's GitHub at the following URL. There is also YouTube instruction videos. Search for Icarus Mod Manager uh, for installation setup and use of this excellent tool. Well, folks, that's it for now. Hopefully this video sheds some light on the basic modding steps and inspires you to explore what is possible in the Icarus game with mods. Thanks again for watching.